In this video, I want to show you how to create a simple effect in Photoshop where you reveal the skeleton beneath the skin. If I zoom in a little bit here on this picture of Angelina Jolie, you can see that the skeleton of her hand is appearing underneath her hand there. Okay, so that's what we want to do. If you wanted to, you could go and get yourself a skeleton, some neck and rib cage bones, and make them appear underneath there as well. But for now, I just want to show you the simple effect of revealing the skeleton under her hand. Okay, so let's go to Photoshop. And we're going to begin by opening up a picture of Angelina Jolie and also a picture of a hand that's been x-rayed. Now the hand that's been x-rayed is in a similar position to the way she's holding her hand. It's not exactly the same, but very similar. And we're going to make those fingers fit to the shape of her hand in just a moment. Now the first thing I want you to do is just go to the Select menu on the hand and select All, and then go to Edit and Copy. I'm going to copy and paste this hand onto the picture of Angelina Jolie. So I'll go to Edit and Paste, and that will stick the X-ray on top of Angelina Jolie. So you can see you've got two layers now in your layer box. Using your Move tool, which is the first arrow in your toolbox, and making sure that Show Transform Controls is selected, I want you to just resize this hand, holding Shift. Oops, what have I pressed there? I've held Control. I need to hold Shift and just resize her hand and I'm going to move it down so it's a similar size to her hand down here so I'll press control plus to zoom in a bit here Photoshop's a little bit laggy but I think we'll get there in a minute yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect here because we can change it in a moment a good way to see what's underneath her hand or underneath the x-ray hand is changing the opacity just over here in your panels and drop it down to 50% just so I can see Angelina's hand beneath there and I'll try and match up as many fingers as possible okay, so you can see that's roughly it the fingers don't exactly match the x-ray but we're going to fix that now so I'm going to click the tick at the top to, to prove those changes and now while well, I've still got layer 1 selected which is my x-ray hand I'm going to go up to edit and go to puppet warp Okay. Now we don't want to see the mesh so, mesh, so let's just uncheck the box at the top that says Show Mesh, and we don't want to see that. And what I'm going to do is click on Angelina's hand here, and that's going to drop a pin right on the point of that joint. I'm going to go through all the joints. I might just have to turn this opacity up. I don't know if I'll be able to while I'm working on this. Oh no, there we go. I'm just going to drop some pins on each joint in her hand and her fingers. I might get the tip of the fingers too, so make sure you put a pin on the tip of those fingers and then on the finger joints. A little bit fiddly but shouldn't take you too long. There we go. Okay, so now I've got pins on each of these joints. And what I can do is hover over these pins and my mouse cursor will change and it will allow me to start dragging her thumb joints around and starting to get them in a similar to pos similar to position to the shape of her hand. You may need to change the opacity again just so you can see what's going on underneath. I'll just drop it down a little bit and now start moving these pins into position. Some of the bones might go a little bit skew if but I think overall it's going to look pretty good. Remember those bones don't go all the way to the tip of the finger so you can bring them down below the finger line a little bit. My mouse cursor is playing up a little bit, so it's getting a little bit tricky to do this, but we're getting there. The bones in that finger don't look too flush, but uh, that's alright. Little finger, whoops. Little fingers looking okay now. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. If I just change the opacity again, I'll drop it down to begin with. You can see the shape of her hand. As I bring it back up, it pretty much matches her hand. Okay, so I'll leave the opacity around the 70 to 80% mark for now. 
If you feel that the bottom of the hand doesn't quite fit, you might want to drop a pin down there as well and just move the hand around a little bit just so it fits nicely. And I'm just going to click the tick at the top to accept those changes. Okay, it's not perfect, she's got a few dislocated fingers in there now, but I think it still looks pretty good. If you're just glancing at that, you're not going to notice that there's too many issues with those bones. Now the next thing I want to do, while well, I've still got this layer selected, the x-ray layer, is change its blending mode here. I'm going to go down to overlay. And that sort of blends the two layers together. I'm going to turn the opacity up again for this hand. I'll turn it, I'll go right up to 100 for now actually, so I can see it nice and clearly. Now the issue we've got is this black background around the outside of the skeleton. It's a simple thing to fix though, just grab your eraser tool and choose a soft kind of brush, so one of these soft ones will look nice. And you can use your square brackets next to the letter P there. The right square bracket will make your brush bigger, the left square bracket will make it smaller. And carefully rub out the background. Don't go over the bones, you can go over the finger a little bit. But don't go over the bones, otherwise you're going to start rubbing out the bones. And they're going to be quite hard to see. So already you can see that this picture is looking pretty good now. Okay, it's going to remove that redness from a hand as you go over the edges of the hand as well. When you get into the little fiddly bits between the fingers, you are going to have to make your brush a lot smaller just to get in there and rub out those parts. I'll try and do this as quickly as possible. Make sure you take your time though when you do this so it looks a lot neater than mine. Okay, I did go over the bones a little bit there, but never mind. This is just an example. Okay, you can see your hand looking a lot better now. It's quite bright just down in here like the main part of the hand. So what I might do is just make my eraser brush really big for a moment so it covers that area. And I'm going to drop the opacity up the top here. I'll drop it down to about 10%. And just a few times I'm going to click and it's going to ever so slightly rub out that area. And it won't be quite as bright. I might even do that a little bit more towards the bottom just on those bones. I'll turn the opacity up a little bit more. I'm going to blend these in with her arm. Let's try and fade it in a little bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'll press Control Zero now to zoom back out. I might just put a few little finishing touches on down there. And that's basically it. We've now got a skeleton. I'm just going to uncheck Show Transform Controls so we don't see that bounding box around her hand. There we go, we've got her skeleton revealed beneath the skin on her hand. If you just go to File, and we're going to choose Save for Web, and make sure you save that as a JPEG image into your accounts. Okay, you can use a high quality or very high setting, and that's only going to be a small file size there. Okay, so have fun with that.